Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 33 for step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch the previous video first and then you can come to this video. Uh, today I'm going to share the GitHub link for to do UI and to do API. So please watch this video completely and before the end you will get the links for both the projects and also from next video onwards i'm going to start advanced angular tutorial so please subscribe to my channel to get the latest update for the upcoming videos so this is a mock-up what we are going to develop uh, today and uh, currently we have this dashboard uh, label and this uh, tabs for all upcoming and completed so for this uh, i am going to create uh, two component one component consists only uh, this part uh, task name status and date is uh, this is a common for all so i will create one component with this design and another component uh, i will create for the list of all this and uh, i will keep that uh, a new component for all these three tabs and which will accept input parameter is all up, upcoming and uh, completed and based on that input parameter we will filter our record so let's start so let's move to the dashboard folder for generating a task detail component uh, that will show each task detail and similar way let's create a task list component so after creating both the components uh, i added a few html for our task detail component so let me show you mock-up so this is a task detail component this border section under this border section we are having task details so what i did is uh, this is a very basic html and i added task name category state status uh, start date and end date and uh, task button and these are the properties are we are having in our to do model class so let me open and show you that also so this is our to do model class and this was the properties we were having in the interface and uh, this is a two new nullable properties i added to show in our task details and also i added a few basic css let me show you that as well so let's go there and yeah so this is our repo css and for though i added some padding and uh, this is for our button so as we discussed uh, in the start of the video we will pass a task object from task list component so how can we pass a data from parent component to child component yes correct using input uh, decorator so let's uh, copy this task and uh, open our uh, task detail component and we need to add one input decorator so let me quickly add this so by this input decorator we can get the data from parent component which is a task list component so now i need to add this task details component in the parent component so how can i add that uh, yes i can use the selector so let me copy this app task details and uh, let's open task list component.html and let's remove this and here let me add one due tag and under that i can add app task details right and here i can pass my input property so what is the input property name it's a task so let's say that task and here it should be task but in the list component we will get a list of all the tasks so we can uh, loop here and i can hit one do first let's wrap this task under this do and to loop this uh, task list uh, what i can use uh, just correct i can use ng for directive and i can add uh, like this right so now i have a task which i'm passing in my child uh, component so for this task uh, let's open our component so 
here it is and i am going to add same method uh, this is a method we are having in our to do uh, list page so let's add the service and date pipe what we use there and let me add one array type here for our task so it should be to do and let's assign it with the empty array and uh, i think here we are having that is pillow mistake so let's fix this and let's save the all changes and now let's call this get to do's method on ng on init method on ng on init uh, lifecycle hook and it should be this right so let add this as a prefix and now uh, we can assign this task list component to our dashboard component so similar way let's check for selector so this is our task list selector so let's copy this and paste it in our dashboard component.html so this is my dashboard component.html and let's keep it here and same for upcoming and for completed as well and in our task list component.html for this view i am going to add one uh, for about you i am going to add one css so let me open my css and this is a css we are defining for our list view so let me copy this and let's add class tech here and let's paste it here and now we can run our application so let's run it so now i can see that my list is working fine uh, only there is an issue for button text and status because we need to uh, pass it from the array uh, and uh, also we need to remove this expression from here and uh, one more thing which we need to change is now we are getting same record for completed upcoming and all so we need to filter a record based on the top selection so let's start for that so for the status and button text i created two function uh, and uh, in our uh, this loop i am calling that function and i am passing a start date and end date for to that function and uh, we may have ended as a null because that is an optional parameter when auto close is false so uh, i am adding this condition if it is null so i am passing it as a null or else i am passing it as a date parameter and now let me open my get status function and here I am taking first current date and I am checking if uh, end date is null then my status should be constant because it will be uh, continue and uh, if my end date is less than current date then my status should be completed and if my start date is greater than current date so my task is upcoming task it's not a start yet and else my task would be ongoing and similar to this i created get button text function so if my end date is null so i am giving option my user to mark it is done so once user click on this so i will update uh, end date as a current date today's date and if end date is less than current date then my task should be reopen you uh, means it is a completed task and user can reopen this and if my start date is greater than current date then user can mark as a done and uh, uh, else also user can mark it as a done so let me fix this also and save this so before we verify changes as i mentioned i am going to share 
both API and UI uh, GitHub link. So where can you find it? Let me show this. So this is my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description block. And in my Facebook page, I have pinned this post. So on top of the my Facebook page, you will find this post. And uh, here in this post, I am adding the both API and UI GitHub link. So you can find this here and uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page. And also, if you are interested in the uh, objective questions or in the live polls, so I recently started uh, Telegram channel. So in that, uh, I'm almost daily posting some quiz questions. So you can participate in that if you subscribe to my channel. So these are the some simple uh, quiz questions I can show you, which I posted uh, recently. So in the code, uh, one more change we need to make is uh, we can remove this expression. And let's save this. And now we can verify our change. So with this change, I can see status and my button text. So uh, today when I'm making this video, it's uh, 18th October 2020 and uh, now if I will check uh, start date is a 5th October and end date is a 6th October. So I can see status is completed and button text is uh, reopen. And when my end date is null, so it is a constant task. It will be continue forever. So I am adding a status as a constant and user can mark it as a done. So in this case, we have to update the end date as a current date in the database. And this is also October 8. So it is uh, completed. This is October 9. This completed. This is constant. This is constant. And here we can see that number 12th and number 14 is the upcoming task. December 1 and December 2 is the upcoming task. So our button and uh, status is working as fine. And now uh, one more thing, which is a task for you. You guys can filter the record based on this step selection. So if we will select upcoming and completed. So based on that selection, we need to filter the record. I can give the small hint for this. So for making these changes, if what you can do is uh, first thing, you can set this property to true so each time our component will be loaded and the second thing is we need to add uh, one input property that's called uh, status and you can pass uh, status as a all upcoming and completed and based on this status in the component list you can filter the record so that's all for this video. Next, I'm going to start a new playlist for Angular advanced topic. Whatever we have gone through now, that are the basic topics. And uh, in the next, we will go through the like uh, container and presentation pattern, change restrictions, uh, lifecycle hooks, uh, and uh, RxX, uh, like subject, uh, behavior subject, and communication through subjects, etc. So thank you for watching.